Good afternoon, everybody. Myself, Shesda Reddy, working as a lecturer in mathematics, government polytechnic for women, Varangal. Now, I would like to give an introduction about trigonometry. So, <coughs> trigonometry is an important branch of mathematics. It has wide applications in, their in, in our science and technology. Nowadays, engineers use trigonometry for determining heights and distances of inaccessible ob objects and civil engineers for in surveying for lands surveying of landscapes. Now, <coughs> basically the word trigonometry is made up of two words, trigonon and metric. Trigonon is nothing but it's a triangle, metry is nothing but to measure. So that is hence we say that trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with the relationships of height, um, sides and angles of a triangle. Or it is the study of it is the study of uh, measurement of sides and angles of a triangle. <coughs> now, <coughs> we, we see what are the sides of a triangle. See, every triangle has three sides, you know that that is. Now, first consider a right angle triangle. The largest side or the side which is opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse of the triangle, hypotenuse. And next, consider an angle theta which is considered an angle theta of the triangle other than right angle. So now then the side which is adjacent to theta is called adjacent side and the side which is opposite to theta is called opposite side of the triangle. Now there are basically six trigonometric ratios of an angle exist. Those are sine function, cosine function, tangent function, cotangent, and their cotangent next is secant and cosecant. Now, we define what is a sine function basically. So, now t let theta be any angle of the of a triangle <coughs> other than right angle. Then its sine function is defined as sine theta is nothing but opposite side to theta opposite side by hypotenuse. So, that is <coughs> suppose if you take let adjacent side is x opposite side is y, then sine function is defined as sine theta <coughs> is defined as and sorry, next let uh, hypotenuse is z, then sine theta is defined by y by z. Next similarly cosine function we can define as cosine function we can define as adjacent side by hypotenuse, adjacent side is x, hypotenuse is z, then it is x by z, uh, briefly we call it is cos theta. Next, <coughs> tangent. Tangent of an angle is defined as tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So, opposite side is y, adjacent is x, it is y by x and we call it is tan theta. Next, coming to <coughs> its sisters, partners of sin, cos and tangent is cosecant, secant and cotangent. cotangent. Now, what is cosecant theta? Cosec theta is nothing but it's, it is reverse to sin theta. Sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse. Cosec is nothing but hypotenuse by opposite side. So, that is z by y. Hypotenuse is z, opposite is y, it is z by y, we call it is cosec theta. Next, sec, sec theta or secant theta. Secant theta is it is opposite to cos theta or cosine theta, cos now cos theta is as we discuss, cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. So, now sec theta is nothing but reverse to this hypotenuse by adjacent, hypotenuse is z, adjacent is x. So, this is z by x. Now, finally, cotangent theta or cot theta. So, it is reverse to tan, tan is nothing but tan theta is nothing but opposite by adjacent cot theta is nothing but adjacent by opposite side. Adjacent is x, opposite is y, it is x by y. Now, these are the six trigonometric ratios of an angle. Again, these are, there are, every trigonometric function is a real number. Every trigonometric function has a real, is a real number. Now, we will discuss the relation between sin and uh, cosec and uh, cos and uh, second and tan and cot. 
sin theta is equal to 1 by cosec theta, next cosine t equal to 1 by secant theta, next tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta. And again there is a fundamental relation between all these six trigonometric functions. So, first sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, from this we can write sin square is 1 minus cos square or cos square is 1 minus sin square theta. Next coming to second sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. From this we can write sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. Next finally, cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 is yes, cosec square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. So, with this brief introduction I will conclude the topic. Thank you.